so my name is Veronica Harrell, and this is my painting, Deal With It. Um, it's special to me because it's my own personal, like, original character. His name is Nilo. And the lyrics behind here is a song from the 80s that I really enjoy. And the message of it really helps with the message of Deal With It. My name is Terrence Harris. Um, this piece, I call it just Limitless Creation. It's different from all the others because it's actually done digitally and I got it printed on a canvas. It basically implies that no matter what you think or how you go about it, Creation is always limitless, so wherever you want it to be. Definitely one of my favorites. My name is Gio, and I really like my two white works because they compose each other. And this, this one I try to do it myself, like the fight the arm and stuff. And this one, I did pop up my don't shit. And I try to represent like some cultural stuff, and I create like, everything by hand. I'm Courtney Sarah, and I'm a student here at Andrew. Um, my favorite piece that I did for the art show is sort of a combination of this beehive and the book that I did underneath it. But my favorite part about the beehive that I did that I really liked was that it's non-representational. Like, it can be seen as a beehive, but I put a lot of work into making it more about the planar forms. So the book, I made each bee individually out of origami. And I wanted to make it look like it was eating away at the book with the flower pictures in it. So I cut away all the pages and had them swarming around. And I just, I like the way they look together. I like how the background matches the wash that I put the pages. And I like the way that I did the honey because the top of it dripping down. And it painted gold. And I think that came out really well. My name is Chris Johnson. I'm the director of the visual art program at Andrew College. I'm also assistant professor of art. I teach studio art, which is drawing, painting, um, 3D design, 2D design, and advanced levels of those courses. I also teach art appreciation, art history, 
and um, a variety of independent study courses. Today is the semester art show. Each semester, um, students put together an exhibition and show it to their the fellow student body um, to show what they've been doing this this semester. It's an annual or it's a biannual event, so we have one each semester, and it's that's one of the great things about Andrew College is because at other schools you might not get a chance to publicly exhibit your work until uh, your senior year. Quite a long time. Andrew College has about 350 students. Uh, we have on average about 25 art students at any given time, which is great because uh, we are a small, tight-knit college and a small, tight-knit art group. Um, it's really cool because we can allow for all students on campus to participate in, in the art shows. And uh, we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with faculty and uh, students. Faculty and students have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time to work with each other and uh, get better. The facilities are located in a building just off campus um, and it's pretty nice having your own your own little house where you can um, have friends over, make art, turn up music, and get as messy as you want to. Yeah. So uh, I'm a professional artist myself. I work in printmaking. I do large wood carvings, large uh, metal etchings, and uh, screen prints. This behind me is one of my most recent works. It's a uh, four foot by six foot woodcut and it's carving on a piece of plywood. I'm really interested in creating uh, mythology and symbols um, that maybe look like old relics or old maps or things like that. So uh, I'm kind of inventing this mythology of animals and uh, boats or animals and vessels of some sort. Um, yeah, it's got a really Native American quality and mythological quality and it's um, black and white, which I really uh, have been responding to lately.